With the humble beginning of two fish ponds, Apollo Obo now boasts of 37 fish ponds. And from one fish pond to the other, Obo takes us through his business, which now rakes in millions of shillings per year. Land was idle, and an idea came to look for initially an alternative source of income. So the farm started with the construction of only two ponds. Armed with the fish nets, his counterparts follow him to harvest mature fish. He breeds three types of fish, tilapia, catfish and mila catfish. From the 37 fish ponds, he harvests three tons of fish for consumption every year. Obo started with fish fries, which give him two million shillings per month. He also earns four million shillings from tilapia fish. The hatchery produces over 500,000 miller cut fish per year. Because of this success, Obo has inspired many farmers in the Mount Elgon and Teso regions. There are some farmers around the Bunkoho. They have also started the fish, the fish, the fish construction of ponds. And uh, we are even training very many people around. Many farmers visit his farm to acquire more knowledge in fish farming. Due to the proximity of the business to the market, the traders no longer travel long distances in search of fish for consumption. See, because originally they used to go to Kajansi, to go to Jinja, to go to where they now come near. That's an achievement. We have provided local employment around, to the population around, those who come for casual jobs. Even the population is now feeding a little bit better, though it is still scanty. It's at this point that Obo unveils his future plans of supplying fish to industries in Jinja and Kampala that don't have adequate supplies and also export fish. We hope to export and even supply fish to these local factories that are closing in Jinja and whatever. That is our major objective in future. But the business does not go without challenges. The high cost of feeds and the seasonal rains, which affects production in case water is not enough, are weighing down the business. The farmers want government to send in agriculture extension workers and also support them with funds. Obo advises potential farmers who may want to take on the business to consider starting in the swamp where there is enough water, buy good quality seeds, form savings and credit cooperative societies or circles and seek scientific knowledge from experts before starting out. The future is in fish farming. Why? Our legs are depleted. So the money is in fish farming. It is definitely there because with our increasing population in Uganda. Fish farming is one lucrative venture that can improve the livelihoods of many people in Uganda. Hopefully, the story of a bow can be a source of inspiration for those who may want to join this business. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.